this is ramen squad i'm mama ramen today i'd like to try bleach this is first time i'm doing a character from bleach and then probably the first one will be ichigo the the main character and then i love you know this um artwork from the actual original manga shonen jump manga this is like you know such a beautiful lines and then you know the fact you know there's no like you know shady bit it's just white and then the, you know he's quite often wearing quite dark you know um the clothes so that combination really works so yeah let's see how it goes so i'm gonna use this one this is one of the um um the manga cover i think so i'll get yeah yeah i hope i can recreate this in black and white let's get started So he's looking at this way and then almost a portrait but we still see some part of his um um right hand side here so um I have to have that in consideration so so this is the kind of indication of um his face it's not confirmed yet but just roughly um uh like position each bit and then his eyes are going like that so can you see the central line that you know and then the bit of flesh here and there and there and then this is the eye line so somewhere along here his eyes gonna stay, I think. Mm, still uh, a little bit upper than I thought, but anyway, this is roughly there and then the eyebrow comes really close to the um eye so who loves bleach tell me about bleach so um uh, you know when i came here you know bleach was just starting you know to be like you know that, that started the um the actual manga comic in shonen jump but I was in England already and then I missed it all and then I you know didn't have opportunity to catch up with it so I don't know anything about the bleach of course I know the hype of the bleach and of course it became the um, you know the animation series and then the um, it became a movie as well so all, all that I know but actually I haven't seen it and I'd love to watch it you know by looking at these amazing you know um the pictures when I was researching you know it made me want to watch it properly yes yeah I think this is around there right and then the nose so it does go like this kind of nose and going back here and then the nose no it's not it's more like here and i like his mouth his simplicity and it's really um lovely sort of um expression his you know a um, mouse tells quite a lot of about him wait a minute look you know it's really simple but it is always really nice yes he doesn't open his mouth much yeah it's beautiful right so i think it's more going towards this way yes 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 happy So 
so I have to reduce the amount of eyes I think I'm you know estimating too big so that's that so that means that um yeah it's gonna go here You know what, this really like, um, um, the lines are quite um, thin. Maybe what I need to do is, you know, instead of using the Sharpies today, I think I should use this um, uni ball from the beginning. That's one feeling. And I'm gonna just, you know, do the rough line of where the head's gonna go. Yeah, around here. So it's easier to do the spiky hair. And I think this is around the center point of this whole thing. Okay. Is it too long? I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Too wide? Hmm. Maybe I did it too wide. More like here. I think. What I can advise you all is, you know, um, because did, did you see I had to change the eye shape? I had to change, you know, this and that all the time. So when I'm doing the pencil line, I don't go really like in a strong line from the beginning because I know myself, I'm making some kind of, you know, mistakes or the, the lines that I'm not happy with and I'm keep changing throughout this, you know, pencil line, you know, sketches. So um, it's best to have that, you know, um, the lines, you know, really thin and the light. So it's easy to like, you know, delete and putting new one on and then you know yeah do that again otherwise um also your you know paper becomes quite um you know damaged quite quickly so um you're gonna you know lose the um you know lovely smoothness from the paper so yeah i recommend that Yeah. Right. So the only places that I'm gonna do with this um that sharpie is probably um the eyelid as usual. If you know me, that's how I do eyelid the most of the times. And here And the, um, this jawline is quite strong as well. Okay. Maybe next. But otherwise not much more and then you know I'm gonna do this bit in Sharpie because I'm gonna ink it later anyway so this whole part the kimono part will become um, really dark okay So I'm going to move to 
the um so I moved on to Unibo I brought that's my favorite um pens for doing the smaller details in a thinner line. Okay, and and the nose. and the mouth and I'm gonna do um, the hair first smaller one and the big one I wish I can do a fantastic spiky hair like his artwork, but I think it's quite difficult. Gosh, I'm learning. It's really cool to be able to learn something completely new. Woo! And like that. in the okay, right 
and here comes the eyebrow And now I've got this and I'm going up. Yeah, I think it's done. Phew. And I've got this um, detail of the whoa. What an artwork. Whoa. Super. And this going like that, and then this is the six bucks, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think I've inked it all. Okay. Right, let's take out all the ink. Um, Pencil lines. Okay. Right. Whoa, ho, ho. So I'm gonna do this um, finish. So I'm gonna leave this um, hair completely white, and it has got um, some, you know, like blackness around the um, kimono costume. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then what about the eyebrow? What's gonna happen to the eyebrow? Is he coloring it? No, he's not coloring it. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna do a big, super big um, inking of black. Right. So here, all of these to be dark. If you have time, you can um, ink this properly by going really, really, you know, like, you know, in detail, you can do this, 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 this. But I don't think I can do so much of it. So for now, I'm gonna do what I can do. Hi, Opi. I did a, a Totoro for you. Yes. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So I've done the Totoro for Yopi. Are you happy, Yopi? Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. Okay, bring it to your room. Yeah. Bye, Yopi. So glad you is happy about the total drawings I've done, you know, previously. Mm Yeah, okay, I think that's the max I can do. Right, and I'm gonna do this bit, uh, so probably around here. And yeah, right. So I'm gonna do cross hatching for the first time. It's inspired by this 
Can you see this neck? I think this technique is close to, it's not actually, but anyway, it's close to cross hatching. So I'm gonna do this. Can you see? So this is called cross hatching if you want to try it. It's so much fun. I love it, doing it. And then the, what else can I do? Uh, yeah, maybe I should I'll do a tiny bit of um, like shading inside here and shading here. That's it, I think. Wait a minute. And maybe some part I'm gonna do the you know, thick inking. I think that makes sense. That's it. So I'm gonna call this Ichigo Bleach. And this is Ramen Squad. Yes. Well, maybe, should I just do a quick shading here to finish? Yeah, I think that's it. Right! Yay! So this is my take on Ichigo. What do you think? I hope you enjoy, you know, drawing Ichigo with me. Thank you so much for watching as well, everyone. Have a lovely day. Bye!